Hello students, my name is Umesh. Thank you for your overwhelming response on my YouTube channel. And this has encouraged me to do my fourth video with respect to the final year exams uh, you will be writing. And uh, what exactly happened in today's uh, in Supreme Court? Let's see. The Supreme Court to, to hear the matter again. So it was scheduled on today, today, today on July 27th. But however, uh, it has given a notice to UGC and it has given time, two days time and it is going to hear again the matter on July 31st. So keep the fingers crossed students. Okay. But what all happened in the court? Let's see. Uh, what happened in Supreme Court? The here is the advocate Mr. Alok, Alok uh, Srivastav. He is fighting on behalf of 31 students uh, who have filed the petition. He said to the court that even today there are 50, more than 50,000 uh, COVID cases uh, happening uh, in India. So there needs to be a stay on UGC guidelines until the matter is pending. So with not only this gentleman has filed a petition and there is one more advocate by name Mr. Abhishek Ma Mother Manu Singhvi. He is uh, fighting against, uh, uh, he is sorry, he is representing the law students and uh, what he says is we are challenged july 7th notification for ugc which mandates final year exams in universities by september 30th this is unrealistic and uh, un unremarkable amid covid 19 ugc earlier wanted to take a look at covid and change the guidelines so that is the reason the supreme court has given two days time to respond to these petitions let's see what uh, ugc is going to respond uh, with response with respect to the time frame given by the Supreme Court. Now, Supreme Court has issued a notice to UGC to seek response on a batch of pleas challenging its guidelines, making completion of final year's uh, university exams mandated by September 30th. So, we'll see what exactly will the Supreme Court is going to respond once the UGC comes up with the, uh, 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 the challenges given by the, peti the, the petitioners like the students as well as the law students. Okay. So here is Mr. Varun Sardesa, he is the USENA secretary from the Maharashtra. So he also uh, tweeted saying that Supreme Court will ha have a hear next hearing on Friday regarding a public interest litigation that is PIL filed by USENA against UGC guidelines. USENA has been garnering support from the across the nation with students, teachers, education staff and association associations sending in letters of support to us. Thank you to everyone. Let's hope Varun Sar Sardesai who will win. And uh, uh, I was reading this exclusive story uh, by India TV. Students, I will request you to read this India TV story. And uh, it's, it's a somewhat some sad news for students, if I have to say this. What UGC Secretary Professor Rajnish Jain says is there is no change in exam guidelines. Just one day before, I mean, that is yesterday only, he has said, gave an exclusive interview to India TV. No change in exam guidelines, says UGC Secretary Professor Rajnish Jain amid strong opposition from students over final year exams. And he went on to say, universities have been asked to conduct the final year examinations by September end and they are free to hold exams via any mode prescribed by the UGC. It is up to them to select the mode of examinations. The mode of examination is it is online or pen and paper, but however most of the universities in India, including our VTU, has uh, they have gone ahead with the pen and paper mode because there are challenges in uh, conducting online exams which I have explained it in my previous videos. You can watch that. And he says, uh, safety and security of students is definitely of uh, prime importance to us. So let's see, uh, we have to wait and watch. And um, uh, what India TV says is clearly UGC is in no mood to budge. At least not now. More developments will emerge on July 31st, 2020, Friday, when Supreme Court will resume the hearing again. So, there is one more query by your student, uh, Nilofar Nadaf, commented on my YouTube channel. Uh, she says, Sir, how will be the bus arrangements made to maintain social distance while appearing for exams on August 24th? Mm, no. Uh, Nilofar, uh, I don't know how far you stay from your college. Um, one, if you can afford for carpooling, because the reason why I'm saying carpooling is this is how professors uh, visited college when there was a lockdown and there was uh, restrictions between inter-district inter traveling. Um, imagine in one car there are pre three people are allowed. So if you can carpool 
if you are having financially sound if you don't have you are not financially sound means then i would request to avail the hostel facility which is will be given free of cost for 3 days so it's just a matter of 3 days you go to exam hall right and then come back to your room so you'll be all on all on your own imagine there'll be no junior so there'll be enough space in the hostel rooms just ask your hostelettes uh, how many hostel students are there only the final year students i'm asking i'm sure there'll be a lot of space to accommodate more people okay or else there is no other option is to have to have own transportation if you can afford because i don't know how much the distance you stay from your residence to the college and the cost involved in terms of transportation the fuel so the driver or if you can ride on your or you can you can drive on your own so uh, this is what i thought nil offer but thank you for asking this question this is a very valid question in terms of transportation and indeed when the college organizes the bus transport in uh, each seat one person will be seated so maximum 30 people can be seated or 40 it depends upon the size of the bus so uh, will the college authorities will run the buses again and again i doubt because the cost is involved imagine if the uh, college is 35 kilometers from x place to y place uh, no college will encourage to run again and again and there are minimum 350 to 500 students so final year students in each college depending upon the departments they have so it is better advisable to have uh, the hostel facilities it's a matter of just 3 days nil offer thank you for asking okay students so let's wait and watch what supreme court says on july 31st verdict and uh, oh, uh, depending and if the exams are getting held as per the scheduled or it be postponed or it be cancelled again i spoke to experts they said yes uh, as expected and the no comments as it is a matter of sub judice however they asked me to remind you to students job is to concentrate on preparing exams because it is a matter of court uh, you know how court functions in uh, the uh, india there is lot of pressure on ugc there is lot of pressure from students point of view so who knows let's keep our fingers crossed and see who, who wins the race from this uh, litigation okay finally thank you students for your overwhelming response and i'm happy many students are subscribing my youtube channel if you have not subscribed please do subscribe and encourage me to so that i can respond to your queries within 24 hours happy reading all the best thank you thank you thank you